The last group from the paintings for the temple, completed in 1915, consists of three large canvases that Hilma of Klint called altarpieces. These works appear to relate to Theosophy's version of evolutionary theory, in which evolution occurs in two directions, elevating from the physical to the spiritual and descending from the divine to the material world. Like the other works in the paintings for the temple, the altarpieces are numbered in the order that Afklint envisioned them being hung. Each of the first two in the sequence feature a golden circle and an equilateral triangle, one with its apex pointing upward, the other downward. In the third and final canvas, a single golden orb dominates. These three large paintings are quite significant. These works were meant to be shown together in the sanctuary or in the innermost part of the temple. And so they are really a culmination and a bringing together of forms and colors and motifs. Some of the shapes that we've seen in some of her other canvases occur here in a very grand way. She uses metallic leaf in these works as a means to expressing the importance that these canvases played in her program of paintings for the temple. They would have been encountered by the visitors to the temple after they passed through all of the other works and ultimately came to the center point or to an elevated point, perhaps, in the structure of the temple. Of Clint sketched her vision for the temple in a notebook dated 1930-31. to 31. The building was to be a nearly round, three-level structure connected by a spiral staircase upon which visitors could proceed upward. Its floors were to be connected by a four-story tower with an altar room at the top of the staircase where these paintings would reside. Of Clint imagined that the construction would resonate with, as she wrote, a certain power and calm. 